questions do you have for me? The first one is from Brian. Should we approach a seller in pre-foreclosure with subject to then sell the property after closing? So if the if a seller is in pre-foreclosure, one thing is real. They have the deed to the property. They can still control that deed. They can still do anything they want to with that deed until they either are foreclosed out of the property or sell the property. So absolutely. The, and the best way that we do that, Brian, is to make a presentation to the seller, go through who you are, what you do, how you operate. Now, one thing we use, Brian, is this amazing thing called a presentation kit. So this presentation kit is designed to tell a story. And what I've found is that sellers need to understand who you are and what you do and how you operate and how you can help and how you're different than everybody else and start to educate them on what's called the cost to sell and the types of offers that you can make and people that you've helped in the past to solve their problems and how you can help this seller to solve their problems. So Brian, creating a foundation of your conversation is a key piece to first offering that idea, that idea of taking over the seller's loan because that seller has a loan. It is in their name and there is the opportunity to take over those payments. Now what's in it for the seller? Well, if they're in pre foreclosure, that means they're not making payments. Now what could happen is you come along and, reinstate that loan, you make those back payments, and then you start making payments on time. Well, what does that do to, for the seller? That helps the seller, doesn't it? It helps the seller to restore their credit. It helps the seller to get back on their feet. If they were in uncharted territory and negative territory, so to speak, it, with their income and finances, now you have given them a leg up and a help helping hand to be able to get stabilized again. So what you bring to the table is true value for that seller. And Brian, I'm going to say that it's very important that you present that in the right way. And that when you agree to take over their payments, you absolutely positively for sure and for certain, make sure that you make those payments. If you agreed to, if you agreed to make those payments, by golly, you got to make sure that you make those payments. And what does that do for the seller? It helps them. It does not hurt them.